Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. Would you like to see how our steady rest works and how it is adjusted? My colleague Mark Franklin and I will show you here. Here a steady rest is mounted on our traveling server table. The steady rest moves to a defined position under the workpiece. Then the length position of the workpiece is measured. Based on the measured position and the used operation, the steady rest is repositioned. Here we simulate the grinding of the flute. The sequence is defined here so that the half pipe insert should support centrally under the grinding point. As soon as the grinding wheel reaches this position, the steady rest moves along to the end of the flute. Now this is done on all cutting edges. In order not to veer the inset too much, it is automatically moved down and up again. A steady rest is primarily used to support and hold in position long work pieces that could be deflected during the grinding process. Half pipes, prism or bushings can be used for this purpose, depending on the type of work piece and the task. Here we now show the adjustment of the steady rest. The C-axis is turned in the direction of the portal and the steady rest unit is put on. Using two Allen screws and the keyway clamps, the steady rest unit is pulled to the contact surface and fixed. Now the sensor and pneumatic line is connected to the machine. Next we select the steady rest, define it and determine its position. To do this, we first go to the Toolstudio server and start the reference wizard in the control center. In C-axis platform at X3 add-on body type, I select half pipe. In the window servo table add-ons, I define the length and position of the half pipe. Continue at add-ons reference. Here the basic position of the servo table is entered, which has determined during the basic measurement of the machine as well as some other parameters concerning the X3 axis. Of interest to us is the determination of the X position, which is shown next. After the X3 servo table has been moved to the defined measuring position, the probe ball is moved manually to the front of the insert to determine the length position and enter it in the reference menu. The fine adjustment of the steady rest is shown here. The rush alignment has already been done as described in the documentation. After a plank has been climbed that has no or only a small run out error, two dial indicators are placed on the workpiece in order to be able to adjust the horizontal and the vertical position of the steady rest. If you move the steady rest to the upper position, these dial indicators should show as little deflection as possible. With the fine adjustment screw on the side, the horizontal position is set so that the dial gauge does not show any deflection when the steady rest is raised. The height is then adjusted with the screw at the front. A slight preload should be set here. Move the steady rest up and down several times to check whether the set position is constant. Here you can see the same process as at the beginning of the video as simulation.
the settings are made in the table Servo Axis X3 Setup. The basic selection is made in the column Coupling Type. Parking means the steady rest is not used and is in the parking position. Down or up axis position defines whether the steady rest should be at an entered absolute X3 axis position. With fixed down or fixed up, the position is defined in relation to the workpiece phase. With linked, the steady rest moves during the grinding. Depending on the selection, different entries are possible here. Approach up defines whether the steady rest should be up or down during approach or retract movements. You can also find more information about our software, machines, trainings and customer care on our homepage. Join us again soon.